Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome back to Queen Cup Tarot. I am just shuffling up right now and catching the vibe, getting ready to do your November 2019 tarot readings. For those that are new, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It's much appreciated. And for those that are returning, thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and for positively engaging this platform the way you do. And then personally going over and above to send me your love genuine love, support, you know, encouragement. It means a lot to me. This whole experience is very humbling and um, a beautiful reflection of my own ascension and development, being able to connect with you guys like this. You know, a lot of you in the personal readings are a reflection of where we all are at. And anyways, long and short, feels good to be here with you guys. All right. So thank you. Um, for those that would like to book personal readings with me, that's fine. Just see the details below. Um, just be patient with regards to me getting back to you to send you my availability because I do all my readings live, not pre-recorded. So um, send me an email. I'll shoot you over my availability. You'll send a couple of dates and times that work for, for you from it. And then I'll get you in the books and send you confirmation. Okay. Um, I am going to do a couple shout outs. So for those that timestamp the reading prior to the prayer, thank you. Please continue to do so. And for those that are new, it is a pet peeve to not acknowledge that this reading starts when the prayer does. That's all I mean by that. But anyway, a couple of shout outs. I want to shout out my Auntie Sylvie Savage. She is um, revamping her YouTube channel and she is going to support the collective in talking about a bunch of dope, cool things um, surrounding pet um, health and wellness. And just kind of, it's even past health and wellness because she talks about spirit. She's very, very spiritual and um, very free spirited too. Anyways, I just love her. I was really on her to revamp the YouTube channel because I just, I think she could help so many people from everything she's learned and studied. She helped me a lot with my dog, right? So I just thought maybe the collective, especially those of you that have got pets could really enjoy her channel. So see the link below. Um, the channel of love for those of you um, looking to connect with a twin flame collective divine masculine feminine spread energy spread um, she does that she special specializes only in that she's not doing uh, monthlies and um, uh, star signs yet but um, she has a really dope collective read for the twin flame journey so you guys can check that out not that we don't talk about love and things like that here but these are truly general readings here that I do for the collective. Um, who else? There's one more person. Oh, yes. Um, I connected with this chick from Toronto. She's a fellow tarot reader here on YouTube. I told her I would shout her out to the channel, guys. Just show some, so show some love. Go like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Her channel, she does monthlies and stuff too. Her channel is um, Immortal Dynasty Tarot. The link for her channels below too. So show some love, guys. You know, you guys are so supportive and genuine. And, you know, I know even if you don't resonate or if you don't like it, you're not going to shed hate and run your mouth. So either way, guys, um, check them out. And then regarding your decks, we're going to use the Venetian Tarot by Eugene Vinitsky. And then to clarify, instead of Tarot, we're going to use the... Um, the Golden Venetian Lenormand, which I've been studying. Eugene Vininsky came out with a Lenormand deck, which is absolutely stunning. Stunning. And it actually falls in line with this Venetian tarot that we're using. So that's kind of cool. I think I only use the Venetian tarot for one other sign this month, but either way, it'll be nice. And then the Kim Kranz um, archetypes. That deck, if you are consciously aware that you are in ascension, You've already woken up and you're in ascension and you are about to or are in initiation this deck will help you a lot all right because there is a difference between being you have to awaken first and then you ascend and step into initiation you have to request it essentially but anyway um so yeah i'm ready to get into spread and get into this guy so you can timestamp now all right all right father god holy spirit ancestors guardian angels thank you for rising me up out of my bed this morning and thank you for connecting me with the collective every day right now in particular thank you for connecting me with the collective sign of scorpio 
Please allow me to communicate clearly to them the messages that are in their greatest good surrounding their material abundance, sustenance, the relationships closest to them, their personal ascension and development, and any other messages that you deem worthy at this time. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, for everything you do for me and the collective. All the healing energy, the support, the love, the guidance, the protection, we are nothing without it, and we are nothing without you. So thank you, Father God, and amen. This Knight of Swords popped up twice in the prayer. Somebody might be confused by some communication that they're gonna get in, whether the actual nature of the communication is confusing or what is being communicated to you changes your idea or your feeling so dramatically that now you're confused. So this, this um, correspondence here has a lot of weight and is gonna grab someone's attention whoever is on the receiving end of this. Now, if this is you, Scorpio, going towards somebody, you need to be aware that they might be defensive to you because they're not really sure. You've confused them somehow. Maybe you don't know. Maybe what you're saying isn't confusing. You've communicated it well, but because of what's going on in their life, how they feel internally, how they felt pri about the situation or you prior to your communication has changed. There, there's a need for them to take time to figure out and mull over what, what you've communicated for some of you, okay? What with the Ace of Wands, that's communication. By the King of Wands, that's passionate, meaning the King wants his the undivided attention of the person he or she is communicating to, right? Some of you will be a bit caught off guard by some communication that you receive. For some of you, it's a boss communicating to you some changes, some demands that have you a little bit caught off guard. Some of you are getting some feedback from an employer that catches you off guard and now it kind of has you unsure about is your job as stable as you thought it was. Some of you felt very stable and sure and then your employer took a different approach or communicated some things to you that made you feel more unsure about your wanting to be there, the safety of your position, the role you play. Some of you, it was even as far to now like, like it has you questioning your capabilities. Like, am I as ready or capable as I thought? Like there, there's this, um, yeah, this king of fire that showed up in your pre-shuffle kind of, it could be you, but I'm, I'm getting it might be coming towards you, Scorpio. The fool, more fire energy. Yeah, somebody is coming um, on a bit aggressively, a bit um, strong, a bit unforgiving, a bit um, unopen to getting your feedback. So I'm getting the sense of like rhetorical questions, questions that don't actually re require an answer from you, or this is um, communication coming to some of you that the person who's communicating to you isn't actually open to a response from you, which might infuriate you because it's like, then shut the fuck up. Like there's this uh, strangeness. I don't even know what this is anyways. And then the seven of swords, I don't know about all that. Anyway, let's get into, in, in, into it. And my hands feel sticky, not stick, they're not sticky. It's like the cards aren't, like my hands feel nervous, but I'm not nervous. You know what I mean? It's like, maybe the communication, the communication gets, gets you nervous, making a decision to come out of the cold. Somebody's made a decision to come out of the cold or to bring somebody from out of the cold. Somebody might have felt that they left you out of the cold, Scorpio, and have made a decision to bring you out of it only to find out that you didn't stay out in the cold. You found somewhere else to go. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Someone's sorry. Someone wants to uh, give it a gift. For some of you, some for some of you, there's someone who wanted to give you something, and they didn't step up and give it. Gave it to you. This person gave it to somebody else, and now they regret it. I don't. This could be a family heirloom. This could be anything. 
commitment, money, investment. Someone regrets giving somebody something of tangible nature. It could be even time. Somebody regrets the time that they invested. Yeah, somebody regrets the time they invested. All right. So I keep saying, all right, let's go. And then a card flips over and then I get another message. I feel a clear channel. Yeah, I got three solid shuffles in. All right, your overall energy, my beautiful Scorpios, for the month of November is the Page of Pentacles again. Again, so this seems to be uh, an under, the, the underlying, possibly a regret of investment. Some of you regret... Some of you had two job, two job opportunities and you regret the one that you picked. Some of you left an employer to pick a new opportunity and you regret that. Some of you, yeah, regret a choice that was made in career. Some of you that are in leadership positions actually regret one of the people you hired. You had it between two people and you picked the person that looked on paper better, but your instincts told you there, this person was the better pick. And now you're realizing it after the fact because the person that was hired that you picked has totally botched this or doesn't have a key function that you needed that this person <clears throat> that didn't get the opportunity had. Anyways, the first card out is the two of pentacles, the juggling. Some of you it is you picked the wrong employee. Some of you, you picked the wrong employer. Some of you are juggling whether or not you want to offer a token of commitment to someone. Some of you are regretting the commitment that you made to someone or something. And you are juggling how to get out of it. Juggling whether or not you want to get in it. So strange. Anyways, next card out, the death card. Then we've got the queen of swords. Then we've got the Five of Swords under the Two of Pentacles. Ooh. Then in the middle of the spread, we've got the Four of Wands. I like that. Next card out, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Then we've got the Seven of Swords again under the Five of Swords, which is the worst paired energy to get in tarot as far as I'm concerned. The only thing that would make this worse is actually getting the tower because <laughs> then that would mean the nature of the tower Regardless of how divinely guided it is, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Thank God it's not the tower. It's the Knave of Cups, which is beautiful. And then the Queen of Cups. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. All right. So for my beautiful Scorpios, um, I actually really like this reading. Some of you are reflecting on how different you are than you you were than you are now. Some of you are considering leaving a job because you realize that you're different now. You've completely transformed and are ready to embark in an opportunity that's a reflection of that transformation. So the next couple of months for you um, will be looking for new opportunities, which is fantastic. All right. For a group of you, somebody really fucked up. Somebody really, really fucked up here. And it's like, this person's sorry, they want to work on things, but Scorpio's back is still turned to this. And it looks like you'll be making a decision to continue to keep your back turned to someone's very destructive, deceitful ways, even if they themselves have completely transformed. 
I do not see you coming together or building back a foundation with somebody. So essentially, if this makes sense, you had to deal with somebody in your queen of swords energy, whether male or female, this is the energy that does not have time for emotions, has to think very logically, takes information and strategizes it, meaning goes over and better understands a pool of information, okay? Essentially, this pool of information was shit. It was low vibrational, um, deceitful energy. So essentially, Scorpios, a group of you cut this out, made a decision to cut this out. Little did you know that this decision ultimately transformed you, the pain of which it was. The pain that this left you essentially was a catalyst of change for you, right? Because there's two queens and I believe both of them are you. So you go from the queen of swords to the queen of cups. But like I said, the back, your back is still turned to all this. So it's like somebody knows that you have changed your energy and are in a more, a better um, energy to receive. The queen, the queen of swords doesn't receive anything other than information that she has requested for whatever it is that she or he needs it for. The queen of cups is open, all right? Is more open to receive, okay? So there is um, this wall that has come down for certain Scorpios. The problem is, is the person who you last had the wall up to notices the walls down and I believe is coming in um, in the 12th hour to kind of try to get you to be open to them. The Knave of Swords are new beginnings in love, friendship, and apologies. This person could be looking to have you open to all three, and I don't know if you're open to any of it, because this could be a friend who dogged you the fuck out. You ended the relationship, healed yourself, created a new social environment. Maybe you're on social media, chilling and having fun with new friends, all right? Working on better relationship, opportunities are opening up for you, your energy's leveling out, and this person sees that and wants to come back into your energy space. But with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, the nature of which they dealt with you was so dirty that there is no doubt in why you cut this person off. So this isn't up for debate. You were not wrong. You were completely um, legitimate in, in your decision to drop this. No longer juggling the idea of, do, is this something I want? Is it not? Do I like this? No, there was like, okay, I decided I'm done with this. So it's like, this is where it gets tricky and we start talking about karma, right? Because we have to give the benefit of the doubt, right? There's, there's a need to create a line here, okay? Because if, if someone of this nature returns to you you have to give them the benefit of the doubt that they transformed as much as you did. Friend, family member, lover, no matter. But you don't have to agree to work on anything with them. Because it looks like this person wants to work on overcoming the deceit. They want to work on rebuilding trust. Somebody wants to, re, wants to work on rebuilding trust after their dishonesty was the demise, was the cause of a demise of a relationship, regardless of the nature. Because I am getting friends with this page of cups too, so it could be, and with these two ladies here, it could be friends, sisters, romantic partners. You know, we've got air and water here, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and then Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in the quartz. We've got your energy, Scorpio, right here with the death card, card that crowns your reading here, right? So I'm assuming that, yeah, you know, so it's, it's, it's up to you, you know, to determine whether or not you want to be open to bring healing to something. Because for some of you, 
you will not be open to this at all, not even the apologies. For some of you, you'll be open to the apology, but you will not be open to working, going forward and working with this person at all. For others of you though, the biggest struggle here is gonna be the desire to wanna rebuild the foundation with a group of friends, a friend, a family member, a family dynamic or a lover. But the hardest part is essentially having to overcome the things of the past. I don't even know if the person coming to you and apologizing, no matter how much they want to build with you, if they themselves believe that this, this, this deceit that can be overcome, they themselves don't even think it can be overcome. They're like, how can I rebuild? How can I gain the trust back after what I've done is what I'm seeing here. But the problem is, is with the death card, it's always internal and external. So just as much as I have to give you the benefit of the doubt, Scorpio, that you've transformed, transmuted your pain into power and have become more available, I have to uh, assume that this has happened on the other person as well, whether it has or not. You'll have to determine that if you're willing to. Like I said, some of you are not even going to be open to any kind of correspondence, apologies, anything. And you really need to look at that because if the divine gave you an opportunity to heal and reconcile a situation so you could go about your business in more peace and you don't take that opportunity, really ask yourself if this closure is something you need. Because if it is and you shoo it away, it's going to put you on another karmic cycle. If, it's, if you don't need this closure, then you, and your intuition tells you you need to protect yourself from this fool, then that's what you need to do. But others of you are being prompted to allow this healing in and not build with this person, which is the hardest because it's easier to forgive somebody you want to move forward with. But what about creating healing and forgiveness and moving about uh, moving on, knowing that that person will never serve you or you will never serve them in a positive way, meaning they're not coming. Are you still as willing to be open? You know? Because it looks like the queen is open to the apology, but she's not open to making her cup available to be sipped on again. So where for others of you, I'm getting that this queen, she wants to give her cup, but she's hesitant. So that's where I'm gathering the harder out of the three, which is essentially the desire. So some of you Scorpios are going to see the change in somebody who fucked you over. Their genuine apology is going to rock you to the core. You're going to see the transformation in both yourself and handling the situation, but also the person who is coming to you. Okay. And because of the desire to want to work on this, you're really going to be challenged to really let the past go. And this kind of past is very hard to let go, especially for the uh, especially for these two queens. Out of all the queens, I believe they hold the longest grudge. They're the most sensitive. It's just the queen don't act it. But the reason why she's so vicious is because she's sensitive and she's been hurt so many times. Anyways, let's pull into the Lenormand. I'm going to go pee quick. I'll be back. Hold on. All right. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. Had to, di had to dip out quick, take a quick break. Okay. We're going to pull out the Lenormand, though, and start to clarify, okay? All right. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels for this beautiful spread. I'm so afraid to burn my head off. Ooh. Yeah. This to me is a card of a false person. And there's many meanings to this card. This is like an officiator, somebody who um, officiates something, um, like a anything really. The problem with this card is this is somebody who has authority, but moves like they have more authority than they do. So for me, this is the card of the false person. So a lot of you, it's this false person essentially looking for forgiveness for all the bullshit they did while they were acting ingenuine, ingenuinely. Because this card has a lot of meetings, but I am getting the sense of this is somebody who is showy, bossy. This is somebody who whose ego surpassed their actual talents. And because that ego was in such full 
frontal view, it this is this is this is the 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 result of this um, ego that I'm assuming was dealt you were dealt with. This is the death of this. With this death card, this is over. It's not just over because you cut it off. It's somebody wants you to know it's over because they're not like this anymore. Right? Or at least that's what they want you to believe. All right. Yeah, it's strange. I see one situation very specifically, but it playing out three very different ways. Some of you don't actually go into your Queen of Cups. You stay in your Queen of Swords and you don't entertain this at all. But anyway, let's see more. Can I get clarification, Father God, on this Five of Swords and this Seven of Swords? Oh, that hurt. Okay. Um, this is the anchor. This speaks of um, stability, but it also speaks of stagnation, kind of like life passing you by. Some of you watched life pass you by. Ooh. For some of you, you rebuilt, this was you, you rebuilt after someone left your foundation to create a foundation somewhere else. And you were in stagnation, not being able to stop watching this. It was like a car accident. You, you couldn't stop watching, but you wanted to. You know that saying? There is a little bit of that. You finally turn away. It was almost like these people knew you were watching and liked it and the minute you turned away, now all of a sudden they're behind you. I don't even know what that fucking was about. Anyway, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, can I please get clarification on this Four of Wands and this Eight of Pentacles? Looks like some of my Scorpios are celebrating, um, have a work celebration. Some of you are, um, some of you, um, Somebody is sending you an apology. It's very, very clear. Oh shit, I got a call. Mm -hmm. At five, oh, I'm at 10. What's wrong with this day? Anyways, the masculines who book readings, they're all, wait, they're more technical. They're like, the time and da da da. I'm like, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I love when I have masculine, the my masculine's book sessions. Anyways, I like that masculine's and feminine's book with me. And, you know, I like the personal readings are my, my, um, passion. Anyways, very simply put. So this is card number seven, the snake. It speaks of enemies, deception, um, obia. And I say Obi in particular because essentially, if you look really closely, I read the book, you see that that little nook inside the apple. It actually explains that the person de-venomized. So the reason why this snake can be so free is because it has had its ven venom taken out. But then it asks, okay, what was the venom taken out for? And then you look at the apple and you see that it's been punctured. So this is a plan Okay, to poison someone, to do someone harm. This is the card of enemies. That's why I said obia, because essentially my Jamaicans or Caribbean people know what obia is, and essentially that's what it is. It's tampering with people with ill will, or at least the shadow side of it. A lot of people are going to start talking to me about, don't come in the comments to me about that shit. I don't want to debate none of that right now. <laughs> Anyways, somebody wants to apologize for their deceitful ways. Because I'm assuming that, Scorpio, you may be looking at this person as an enemy trying to fuck with you again. You need to be careful because they might genuinely be trying to apologize for their own karmic 
balance like the divines told them in order to blah, 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 blah. You need to overcome blah, 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 blah. And part of that was apologizing to you for some deceit you already knew about. This isn't coming to you. I do not get, get that. This has already occurred and you already know about it and you've already done what you've had to heal and move on. And in the 12th hour, somebody is coming. Somebody might actually see that you are now open and available and they might have been waiting for this energy from you in order to come in. Because I do get this watching energy here. But anyway, let's go further. My beautiful Scorpios. I've been getting some of that energy this month, but it's so like secondary. Who gives a fuck about these plots and plans when the divine has all these, you know, like you can't give, do not feed fears the devil. So a lot of the time the devil will create instances to make us afraid so that he can leech off of that energy and create control, have more power to control you. That's why I say like really be careful about where you, how much fear you put into things because it really is the devil. So don't be afraid of the ways people plot and strategize on you. Be smart, obviously. You're not just gonna go, okay. Like, no, there is a need for you to be smart and use discernment and not be played out of your position. But when it comes to these kind of things, that's in God's hands. This person better mind they don't forget what they did and have their friend go and yam upon that fucking apple. Now it's their brother, sister, or mother sick on the floor. Do you get what I mean? You don't, you need not worry about this stuff. It's happening. People are bud minded. People cuss bud word, people all type evil eye, all that shit. But if it really had more power than your light and love, you'd be dead already. You would have nothing. You, all this horrible shit would have already occurred. The divine wasn't gonna let that happen to you. And the more, faith you have in the divine protecting you, the better this protection goes down. <laughs> better mindful somebody, you didn't, better mindful where you put that apple after you do something like that to it. Better hope the person you send to go deliver that apple don't take a bite. Anyway. Carrying the F on. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, can I please get clarification on this knave? and this queen of cups. Yeah. Someone's sorry. <laughs> forgiveness is going to be the topic of the hour. <laughs> to forgive or not to forgive, that is the question. For some of you, it's family and it's friends, it's some, it's ancestral. The deceit, the betrayal that has occurred with some of your family members has happened for generations, generations in a very oddly similar form and fashion. And there's an opportunity to break this. I don't wanna call it a curse, but call it what you want. You can break this behavioral pattern, bring light, then love, healing. Your light is the truth, first and foremost. Light is a lot of things. But without the truth, light is nothing. For a lot of you, this is coming into a realization about what truly matters. Creating long-term goals. Some of you are achieving long-term goals. Some of you have achieved, achieved a long-term financial goal that allows you to plant roots like buy a home. You know, something of some permanency. This is also healing of this bloodline, this deceitful behavior, this low vibrational behavior for a lot of you is family. And it's kept, it's kept the members of the family without having the familial support required to go through a lot of things we go through in life. It stopped that. There's a lot of love, but there's a lot of low vibrational behavior that stops the love from being exchanged. 
a little bit of compassion, understanding, and forgiveness could really go a long way for some of my Scorpios right now with regards to relationships closest to them. A little bit of forgiveness could go a really long way. I might actually um, name this that if I remember. I never remember. All right. And then just lastly, going into December, the house. Yeah, this is a lot to do with family, stability. Some of you are getting messages directly to your home, which might put you on the de defense. Some of you are juggling where to purchase a home. Some of you are struggling because everybody, you might be getting some pressure to buy this home somewhere that you didn't actually really want to buy this home. <laughs> you have other plans. Some of my Scorpios have other plans for big investment, other plans about planting roots. Some of you... Some of you, and I don't know if this is you or the other person, but there's a dynamic, a relationship dynamic, a pre-existing relationship dynamic that has reached a plateau. And the people in the relationship are ignoring that. And that's what this deceptive behavior is. Both people are trying to pretend that they haven't reached this plateau. They aren't experiencing stagnation, that there hasn't been this plotting and planning behind the scenes against each other. There's, it's becoming nasty because neither people are self-aware enough to realize that this isn't working. They're more concerned about the codependency. So for some of you, this behavior is in a pre-existing relationship and you're realizing how limited, how limiting this relationship is to you. For some of you, if it's regards to career, if this is if this low vibrational behavior is happening in the job you're at, this will ramp up tenfold because it's a sign and a synchronicity and a nudge to get the fuck out of an environment. If, the, if you're experiencing stagnation in this low vibration and you do not take any steps to change your environment, this will get worse and worse until you break and essentially break away from this environment, which is what the divine wants. It's just how stubborn are we going to be about it, right? I do see some, st uh, I do see celebration about a new job opportunity. I think um, for some of you, you might have come into a new opportunity and be a little bit shocked about how the people around you celebrate you. You know, some of you have never been celebrated like this before, you know, and then to turn around and be invited to a dinner all only to see your nearest and dearest there to celebrate this with you. It's going to be emotional for some of you. Some of you, the people who are celebrating you, they know where you come from, the kind of people you are used to, and they know you're not used to this kind of love, affection, and um, attention. They want to give it to you because, you know, you deserve this, and they want you to be happier about something. This is celebrating a new home. Housewarming. I see a housewarming party here. Right? This housewarming party, though, <laughs> you better mindful who you invite to it because it could be very, very lit with drama. You might, re you might, re you might, re um, why am I? Ah. You might regret having this party. But you shouldn't have regret having the celebration. You should have regret trying to share this shit with the low vibrational people that you invited that you knew wouldn't be happy for you and essentially just be jealous for you. You knew these people would 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 sabotage this. Some of you know that there are people you're considering to invite to something that there's a potential of them sabotaging it. You need to ask yourself why you're trying to bring these people around to your celebration when you know they don't have your best interest. Well, I know because part of your ego doesn't give a fuck and wants to rub it in your face. Your ego and theirs is going to ruin a party if you let it. Like a nice celebration. 
something that's supposed to be a celebratory time can get fucked over by some low vibrational people anyways and then at the bottom of the deck you have the clover which is luck a little piece of luck some of you need a little bit of luck with regards to stabilizing and creating a new foundation maybe you get a little luck with regards to the cost of this home maybe you get a little luck with regards to some people you bring into your life, opportunities that pull through, that allow certain manifestations, more so certain stagnation to kind of dissipate, free up, you know? I like that. Anyways, let's wrap and pull from the Kim Kranz archetype deck. Archetypes. I don't know why I can't say it. Archetypes deck. One card, Father God. The Venom. That's this shit. It's not the right book. There, the venom. Okay. My beautiful Scorpios. The poison. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> The poison, mm -hmm. the venom, like I can't. The poison, the curse, the toxin. Much to our dismay, the venom is always lurking in the shadows in one form or another. Its toxic presence may be found in our relationships, thoughts, speech, or environment. Thankfully, the cycle of purification and detoxification comes so naturally that it is built into our every exhale. We breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants return it to us as oxygen. Archetypal venom is rarely remedied as easily, however, and it can come in potent forms and quantities that are deeply damaging to us and to the world. When the venom card appears, there is a harmful substance in our physical realm that may be identified. Perhaps your words have a sting of poison about them. Perhaps a relationship is slowly draining your reserves. Acknowledgement is the first step. Change is the second. The remedy will reveal itself in time. With it, forgiveness. Holy shit. When light, self-realization through suffering, when dark, unwillingness to find a solution or forgive, going deeper, a poison tree by William Blake. When you harm another, you harm yourself. Keep in mind, this goes for our earth as well with cosmic consequences. I know that's true. The, the spreading of the venom is like a chain reaction. When we strike others, it's likely we have ourselves been struck. Break the cycle breaking that card really wrapped up this whole reading you know forgiveness seems to be the point of focus and it will be tough because with that forgiveness will be some some pain some truth some tough truths you know i see a test with regards to forgiveness all right but you guys can do it because you're god-fearing people and your capacity for love is beyond measure all right Know that you can forgive and bring healing and still decide what you want to do. Some of your long-term goals, you know, you think have nothing to do with this, but if you can gain closure and healing, it'll help you reach higher up in the sky to achieve these goals. It'll allow you to dream more, you know, because a lot of the painful things we go through, they take the dreamer out of us. They take the lover out of us and when this forgiving and healing comes in, it can reinstill that dreamer and lover in you, whether you want to dream and love with that motherfucker or not. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's your spread, my beautiful Scorpios. I love you dearly. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know your genuine thoughts. And until the next time I see you, please continue to let your inner angel live. Ciao.